In this video, I will teach you how to pronounce this word. So don't go away. Hi everybody and welcome back to Lean English. I'm Ed and I'm here to help you achieve your pronunciation goals. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing glottalization and T-voicing, which explains why words like water, may be pronounced differently in different accents. So, let's look at some examples in a bit more detail. The t sound is often glottalized in syllable final position. This means we partially or completely stop the sound in our throat instead of the mouth. This commonly occurs at the end of high frequency words. So a phrase like, that is it, is likely to be pronounced, that is it. The t sound is also commonly glottalized when it appears before a consonant sound. So a phrase like, lightning is frightening, is likely to be pronounced, lightning is frightening. The p, k and ch sounds can also be glottalized. So a phrase like, I'd like a stopwatch, is likely to be pronounced, I'd like a stopwatch. In British English, the t sound is occasionally glottalized between vowel sounds. So a phrase like, I'm getting some water, might be pronounced, I'm getting some water. However, glottalization is often stigmatized and some people regard it as a sign of poor education. Consequently, the t sound is more likely to be glottalized in the middle of high frequency words like getting, compared to low frequency words like water. In contrast, in American English, the t sound is usually realized as a voice tap when it appears between vowel sounds. So a phrase like, I'm getting some water, in American English is usually pronounced, I'm getting some water. This is known as T-voicing, and it also occurs in British English, but it's a lot less common, and it's more likely to occur across word boundaries. So a phrase like, she hit it, in British English might be pronounced, she hit it. These small variations in pronunciation are known as allophones, and the t sound has lots of different allophones, depending on its position in the word and the person saying the word. The opposite of voicing is devoicing. Devoicing is relatively uncommon in the middle of words, but the b sound may be replaced with the p sound in some cases. For example, a phrase like he's absolutely obsessed might be pronounced he's absolutely obsessed. This process is known as energy assimilation, and there are also some common phrases where energy assimilation occurs, such as have to, used to, and supposed to. Finally, all voiced consonants are partially devoiced at the end of words. So a phrase like, they made a bed, is usually pronounced, they made a bed. This means it can be very difficult to hear the difference between minimal pairs like bed and bet, and they can easily cause confusion out of context. Well, that's the end of the lesson. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know the most interesting thing you learned in the comments below, and remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.